Hey there, Hilltop Church family, Pastor Ben here with a quick synopsis of this week's reading from Mark chapters 8 through 12. I think the best way to summarize this week's reading comes from Mark chapter 9 where Jesus said, If anyone wants to be first, they shall be last. He goes on with that theme throughout the next three chapters, talking to his disciples that the greatest among them is going to be the servant of all. They're continually caught talking about who's the greatest. And then James and John, they come to Jesus and they say, Jesus, we want to sit at your right hand and your left hand. And Jesus continually reminds them, listen, if you want to be great, you got to imitate me. You got to be like me. And what Jesus is all about is all about seeing the needs around him and serving them out of love for his Father in heaven. Do you want to be great in the kingdom? Do you want to make your life count? Do you want to stand before Jesus one day without any shame or regret? Then today is a day to put on the mind of Christ, the attitude of Christ, that will lose yourself in service to his people. Jesus identifies himself fully with his bride, and he says, that people will know that he is God, that he is Lord, that he rose from the grave by our love for one another. And he's given us each different gifts to reflect a picture of his heart, of his character, of his um, love for his people. And we're to put that gift into practice so that people can see him in the flesh, that the word would become flesh once again amongst his people. Now, all of us, we have our insecurities and it's kind of awkward sometimes to uh, deal with people that we really have nothing in common with other than we both believe in Jesus Christ. Maybe that's all we have in common. But Jesus calls us to stretch ourselves just as the disciples did in Mark chapter 8 when they're faced with great needs around them and it's overwhelming and they know they don't have what it takes to provide for the people. Jesus says, well, what do you have? Stop focusing on what you don't have. What do you have? And they say, well, we have seven loaves of bread. And so he says, bring them to me. And he blesses them. And then he tells them to go and serve the people. And as they serve the people with what they do have, Jesus blesses it, multiplies it miraculously in a way that goes beyond what they could have ever asked or imagined that Jesus could do in that moment. And, and I want to challenge us from this week's reading, church, that we would have the faith in Jesus that while we have fear, while we have insecurity, while we don't feel like we're adequate uh, to do anything that's of any great significance, if we'll just take what he has given to us, if we'll take what we do have and stop focusing on what we don't have and put it in Jesus' hands and then step out in faith regardless of our fear, if we'll just take it. Uh, a chance and we'll step out in faith and we'll go to work in serving those around us, Jesus can take it and multiply it beyond what we could ask or imagine. Jesus ends in chapter 12 reminding us there is a resurrection to come, that one day we're going to stand and we're going to give an accounting for our lives. And so right before that, he says, if anything causes you to stumble, you need to cut it out of your life. Do you have anything that's causing you to stumble in service to those around you? You know what? Recently, Jesus convicted me that I did. It's called the smartphone. And look what I did. I replaced it with a dumb phone. I, I just found myself too habitually going to my smartphone. And it was making me dumb for the kingdom. And I wasn't seeing all the opportunities or focused on the opportunities to serve Jesus like I wanted to and like I knew he wanted me to. So guess what I did? I cut it out of my life. I took the temptation away. Best thing that I've done. What do you need to cut out today to become a better servant of Jesus Christ? I promise you one day you won't regret cutting out something like a smartphone. You'll look pretty smart before Jesus if it helps you in service uh, for his kingdom. So church, I love you. I'm so grateful you're on this challenge. I look forward to hearing testimonies of what God's done uh, in this journey for you. Thank you for listening and tuning in from me. Come this Sunday, hear a great message from Courtney Walls, and then I'll see you back the following week. I'm looking forward to it. God bless you.